Let's not get our hopes too high on this game. This is a Game Gear game, as you can see by the oversized bezel. <laughs> oh, we're gonna take a... Oh, whatever. Let's get into this. Now, I have the choice of each different area to go to. Can't go to the visitor center yet. I guess it's the end of the game. It's been a long time since I played this, so uh, bear with me a bit. Nice sound effect. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta... Every level starts off with the driving stage. You just sort of gotta run around and... Kill these damn, uh... Dinosaurs that are jumping up at you. <laughs> oh, man. I'm glad the entire game isn't like this, because this is definitely not something I would have played a lot as a kid if this is how everything was. Oh, T-Rex. Jeez, how many times are you gonna get shot in the face? I guess the T-Rex was the end boss, but you face it a bunch of times. Yep, got him. That truck just did a wheelie. Looked like a checker cab. <laughs> oh. Alright, that's the majority of the game, though, is this, uh... side-scrolling, platforming shooter. Although the... I mean, it is a Game Gear game, so the Game Gear, I mean, was a more powerful console than the Game Boy was. I mean, obviously it had color and everything, but it was just a more powerful machine. But still, I mean, everything ran slow. Look how slow all the platforming is, and not too many enemies on screen at once. I have to say, though, the graphics are a little bit better in this than I was kind of expecting. These kinds of levels, though, this is the kind of thing I do not miss from this era of gaming. These, um, kind of bizarre, uh, platforming elevator sections. Man, I, oh, I'm one hit from death. And I'm down. I picked up an extra life, though, while I was, um, running around and... Well, I was doing the jeep section, so I'm good. Oh, is it still alive? Jeez, I'm not gonna make it. I don't know if the game is actually harder than I remember, or if I just suck. Can't get over that. <laughs> no fall damage. <laughs> uh, oh, I can crawl. Nope. <laughs> I'm outside. Whoa! Oh, shit. Alright, there are different weapons you can choose. This one here. The rocket's in the sky. Whoa! Gotta give them a little bit of credit here. I mean, the game looks a lot better than I'd expect a uh, Game Gear game to look. I mean, look at this environment and these, uh, these uh, Brachiosaur uh, sprites look pretty good. Haha, how do you like that? And I'm on a raft. Damn! How, uh... How deep is that lake? Oh, okay. Oh shit. Ah! Okay, I think I got the... 
I get the cycle down now. There we go. I guess he just appears up wherever he went down at. Man, how many of these things were there? been captured. I thought I killed it. And the Brachiosaur has been captured? There were a bunch of them. I was just after that one, though. All these different levels I could have gone to, but that's not the nature of this show. So, maybe someday I'll do these other ones. Killer Instinct, the SNES version of Killer Instinct. It's a game that, well, I mean, there were a lot of different fighting games competing for the title of the greatest fighting game at the time. I think Killer Instinct definitely had its own thing going on there. Though I definitely don't think it could compete against Street Fighter even more for combat. Or, I mean, it's more like a less goofy-ass version of Clay Fighter. Who did I play as a lot? I guess maybe Spinal? Spinal. Orchid. Oh man, the SNES did not do so well with these kinds of games. The arcade version was so much better. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. This does not play well. I mean, and say what you will about how not great the gameplay was in Mortal Kombat 2, at least technically it was a pretty good thing. Um, the first Mortal Kombat on the SNES wasn't really... wasn't really that great. <laughs> or the Genesis version, for that matter. Or any version of the original Mortal Kombat, really. And this plays a little bit more like that. I do like how they, they don't uh, refill your, H your health bar at the end of a round. Don't let me lose the first. Oh, was that a fatality? I don't remember fatalities being in this game. Oh. Yes! Let me put my score in there for no reason. And... It is Star Trek Starfleet Academy Starship Bridge Simulator. It's an, another SNES game. And it's, well... For the most part, the game has a lot of different aspects, but the biggest part about it is a part of the game that is very similar to the sort of Star Trek 25th Anniversary PC, and I guess maybe there was an NES version of that game, although I've never really seen it. I'm going to just do the simulator, because that's the important part. We'll do combat training. Let's me choose the ship I'm going to be playing as. And you notice that unlike the... Um, unlike the games that we had seen, like... Star Trek 25th Anniversary, this game uses polygonal graphics to represent the ships. S uh, very primitive sort of uh, graphics, that kind of Super FX chip stuff that you saw with like Star Fox and such. But it was a fantastic uh, um, kind of experience back at the time because, I mean, you weren't necessarily uh, limited by the number of, like, your know, sprites that you had to work with before. So they could rotate these models, they could show them a bunch of different directions. Of course, the Super FX chip wasn't that powerful. So they were limited by the 
uh, low frame rate, which kind of gives it sort of the same jerky effect of motion and all that kind of stuff. But other than that, the game itself um, was pretty awesome in its day, and I remember spending a lot of time playing this. A lot of other stuff like storyline studs and all that in the game as well, but I don't really have fond memories of that. This is all I really cared about. Plus, there was like a two-player version of this, and yeah, it was, this is pretty cool. Although, it's not playing that well, as well as I remember it. <laughs> um, I took a lot of hits in the beginning of this fight, so I don't know if I can really recover. I'm going too fast. I'm trying to dogfight this Klingon ship. I lost him. Got a radar screen in the middle there, but it's not doing me a lot of good. There you are. I missed? What? Haha. Gotcha. Try the what? <laughs> Slow down a bit more. Alright, speed up. He's gonna try and get away. I can't really tell how much damage I've inflicted on him. Haha, <laughs> got him. Just blew up in one big... Oh, okay, I was successful. The Academy could use more cadets like me. Yeah, alright. If you say so.